You know, StreamYard changed their time settings on this, and now it sets it a full day after, and I keep posting it like, oh, yeah, it's going to be 10 a.m. It, it, it's it was fine the way it was, and then they improved it. Um, <clears throat> Anonymous right, uh, writes, Aaron, I know your love for Minneapolis and Betsy Hodges, R.T. Ryback, and man, baby, mom, jeans, Jacob Fry. What about um? you're missing one after Ryback and before Betsy? Um, she was, um, I think, the first black female uh, mayor. Ellen? No. Something. Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> the guys on AM 1130 call him that. I was wondering if you could do a video on this article and some of the comments in the article. God, I hate Minneapolis and Minnesotans. How's $50? So, that sounds very fair, uh, but let me kind of explain things to the audience. So uh, Betsy Hodges was the mayor before the current one uh, of Minneapolis, and our current one who's probably more popular because he fiddled or, or did the the electric slide while uh, Minneapolis burned. Uh, that's Jacob Fry. And you it doesn't matter who the mayor is of Minneapolis uh, or, or who's even in the city council. this this is a perfect example of what happens. Uh, when you have uh, all people who who get horrible scores, four, four is the worst score you could get on the Clary test. And this is exactly the type of politicians and government that you want to avoid having in there because they, they fail on all accounts. They came for wealth. They've never worked a real job. They majored in stupid stuff. I mean, what are they doing now? They're retiring off a government pension. Or in the case of Betsy Hodges, I think she got some charity school to allow her to teach politics and government <laughs> and and you could you could say oh it's jacob fry's fault or the current city council of uh minneapolis for the the riots and all no this has been a problem where you have generations of not mayoral candidates or city council but politicians in general that never tell the citizens the truth never tell their citizens no are never forthright with them with good constructive criticism and and the, and the truth is the, is the most important thing where it's like no i'm sorry you're wrong where and <clears throat> you let them get away with everything and and you know what i'm no freudian psychologist but i wonder how much in the twin cities you could go out on the it's like seattle you could go out on the interstate and protest right now if you want they're not going to do anything to you you could take down a a statue. You could set burning building. You could you could do whatever you want. They're not going to do anything to you. <clears throat> and so they never hold their citizens up to a standard. Uh, they vote for politics and pol uh, policies at, at all the level, state, federal, and local, but locally here. But in, in the schools, we teach kids that they're not responsible because none of these politicians were taught. None of them were spanked. None of them were disciplined. And I happen to know a buddy who attended school. Uh, with Betsy Hodges. And when she started running, I was like, oh man, not her. I'm like, why? He's like, I went to school with her. I'm like, oh, over in the YZZ? He's like, yep. And she was going to change the world. Oh, at the age of 15. And what's sad is you dumbasses will vote people like that in. Not just the city of Minneapolis voting in a, a worthless person like that. <clears throat> but little children who just happen to hit puberty 10, 15 years ago and look like adults, but have never worked a real job in their lives. I don't know how much simpler I can make the clear test for you. Four questions, four variables, score of zero is good. Score of four is like tyrant dictator uh, material. All right. And don't, for, don't vote for anyone like above a one. I guess you could also say you should not vote anyone into office unless they they're like sixty or retired and don't need the money. That maybe be another thing I'd add. Like, do they have their own money? They don't need you. Um. So anyway, <clears throat> but they they will, and and this is again an, another reason why I wrote the book Enjoy the Decline. Why I'm looking to move out of the United States potentially. Why I have Operation Evil is because you people are too effing stupid. You keep voting. I love, I just love. We got to get people out of privilege, people with background, and they vote for the whitiest McWhite White from YZZ. I don't know. Uh, YZ is Winnetka or the Upper East Side. It's the richest part of the Twin Cities. Although, I don't know, maybe she lived in Plymouth. I have no, this is just my buddy who said it. Um, 
and they keep voting these little spoiled check. Our governor the last time. No. Yeah. Our governor the last time, Mark Dayton. Um, he was one of the main inspirations to come up with the Clary test because he's from the Dayton family. And if you don't know the Dayton family, they had Dayton's, which is now Macy's and his grandfather started target. Mark Dayton didn't do fuck all except major. In, no. Yeah. I think he major in education became a teacher. I think that lasted a hot 15 minutes. And then he thought he'd run for Senator and the idiots of Minnesota voted him in. Why? Cause he had the last name Dayton, which is still known, even though, Dayton department stores may not uh, be a thing anymore. Um, you're idiots. You will vote whoever comes in and promises you the most free shit. Or whoever has a feminine. Like, if I'm the Dayton family, oh, yeah, they're, they're real good. Yeah, and then <laughs> he's never done. He's never done. It. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> anyway, so let's go through the article here. Let me pull it up. Where'd it go? It's from the Star Tribune. This is a Minneapolis local paper that it's just, again, biased to the left. Betsy Hodges, as mayor of Minneapolis, I saw how white liberals block change. <laughs> really, lady, you came in with, look, oh, there's our affirmative action hire police chief I think they had to get rid of. I also believe under Betsy Hodges is when that uh, Ethiopian, not Ethiopian, Somali guy shot the woman. Uh, he was a cop and he shot this gal, uh, cause she hit now. I don't know. I wasn't there for the, uh, for the, um, trial. I think she startled him or something. And I guess he got, ended up getting convicted of uh, second degree manslaughter. <laughs> so the, the dude, the, the <sighs> Democrat policies, and white liberal policies, they're the only thing older than Betsy Hodges. Okay, it's its old hat. How oh, white liberals block you. Lady, you're you're guilty. What change? Did you did you switch to a, a, a sales tax and get rid of property taxes? Did you tell the black community, hey, we're, we're done with this. Oh, well, let's blame whitey and stop protesting in the streets and stop rioting and looting, though that came later. Uh, how about personal ownership? How about not having kids out of out of wedlock? Um, nothing's your fault. Oh, I get. I guarantee you, you heard the same tired trope of women not being equal and you know, oppressed because she's a woman. And uh, I know, and, and I gotta check my heart rate here because this comes from the Star Tribune. Oh, it's written by Betsy Hodges. I just shut up, lady. Just shut up. <clears throat> Democrats have largely led to big mid-sized cities for much of the past half century. Yet the gaps in socioeconomic outcomes between white people and people of color are by several measures at their worst in the richest, bluest cities of the United States. Well, come on. Why don't you and Mark Dayton just give more of your money? How could this be? <laughs> How could this be? You don't train individuals to work hard. You excuse their laziness. You excuse their sloth, which is inherent in every human. And when you tell them lies, like you could do anything you want. I be a teacher. And that's not your fault. And this isn't your fault. Once again, in the gym of life, you are lifting your, their weights from them, preventing them from having any of that resistance and strength, and they will never get strong. <clears throat> and you ask this, because high-profile prof cultural conservatives ask this question so disingenuously. Oh, yeah. <laughs> White liberals have generally brushed aside this reality rather than grappled with this urgency. No, you didn't You didn't care. You just wanted to get elected because you wanted the power and the money. That's it. There's now a danger that this sidestepping will continue even after a national evaluation of racism since the brutal police killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis. As the mayor of Minneapolis from 20 to 2018, and many of blah, 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 blah. as a white Democrat, I can say this white liberals despite believing we are saying and doing the right things have resisted the systematic change of the cities have needed for decades like saying no we're not going to fund a liberal arts program no we're not going to teach you uh, hate whitey studies and uh christopher columbus what we're going to instead we're we're certainly going to allow that to maybe that idea to be offered but in addition to that we're going to teach you about 401ks and iras 
and personal finances and how to apply for a mortgage and how do mortgages work? What about the importance of picking the right education? Do we teach that in this? No, we just went with this. What visionary new leadership? I think she, yeah, there was a bunch of bicycle paths she wanted to put in. She was a big proponent of the, of the light rail system. All these things, of course, help blacks and minorities close the life expectancy and income and wealth gaps with <laughs> I guarantee this woman is not that smart. So she could in her own mind not realize what a hypocrite she is right now. So <clears throat> uh, we have most like mostly settled for illusions of change, like testing pilot programs and funding volunteer opportunities. These efforts make us feel bad. Couldn't you go to Detroit or Compton and say, huh, how many policies did they try over 50 years that didn't work? And maybe we should do something different. Uh, but finally changed a little bit of uh, who's disadvantaged often come from hoarding of advantage by mostly white neighborhoods. Whites don't hoard advantage. They don't hoard. It's not like there's like, well, there's only a limited supply of advantage. Go get it at the stores before everybody else buys it like toilet paper. Advantage is effort plus not fucking up. You have a kid you can't afford. Again, why tell everybody, every guy to go get a vasectomy? Every guy. <clears throat> well, I tell every guy and gal, don't major in stupid shit, right? And why well, I tell, you, tell everybody, spend less than you make, right? And then as long as you don't fuck up and you work hard, you can get all the advantage you want. Now, you may not have as much advantage as Betsy Hodges did in Wyzeze and her older uh, colleague, Mark Dayton. We can't all just live off rich parents. But coming from a guy who didn't have rich parents, let me tell you that, uh, hey, I'm a white guy. I didn't see any money. Interesting enough, the Daytons never gave me money, even though I was underprivileged. It, it's amazing how now not one liberal reached into their pocket to give me money. And I should have gotten it because I have white privilege. I'm here to tell all of you, doesn't matter who you are, what your race color is or what your, your gender is or anything, they're not coming to save you if they could or would don't you think the cities would be a little bit nicer has it worked yet the only person that's going to save you is yourself so don't screw up and keep trying and then you'll have maybe not the advantages of rich people from white Zeta, but you'll have a lot more advantages than, you, than, than your brother who knocked up three girls whose life is effectively over. <clears throat> there you go. Or, you know, little Miss Tiddlywinks who went to McAllister to bring St. Paul in on this, spent $200,000 for a degree in journalism and now can't find a job and demands a student loan bailout. Okay, don't screw it. We don't screw up and we keep on trying. And the government is not coming to save you because it hasn't. And I'd like, I would like to see a member of the black community point out where it has. <clears throat> in, Mississippi, in Minneapolis, the white liberals I represented as a city council member and mayor were very supportive of summer job programs that benefited people of color. I also saw them fight every proposal to fundamentally change how we provide education to those same young people. They applauded restoring funding for the rental assistance online. They also signed petitions and brought lawsuits against sweeping reform to zoning laws that would promote housing affordability and integration. Uh, <clears throat> I'd love to see a zoning law that would result. Didn't you also then basically force everyone to take Section 8 applicants? They don't have to accept, you don't have to approve them. You had to take the applications. And now you're not allowing for single family homes. Maybe that was that was being tendered. Um, how does that increase investment into the city? To build more housing. Oh, then your property taxes, where you don't really own your property in Minneapolis. I will tell you that because I was a property owner. And I think it went from like $50 a month to, uh, no, it was $400. It was $100 a month uh, to $400 a month in the 90s <clears throat> and the early aughts. And you just realize you just rent the property from the city. You don't own it. I just find this so precious and hypocritical she's writing this. Uh, nowhere is this dynamic of preserving white comfort at the expense of others more than visible than in policing. 
whether we know it or not, white liberal people in blue cities implicitly ask police officers to politely stand guard in predominantly white parts of town with the downside of bad policing is usually inconvenience and to aggressively, really? To aggressively patrol parts of the town where people of color live? Really? Those liberal white I didn't think they'd do that. It wouldn't surprise me. Your Crocus Hills and your not, what's the, where's the, where's the little, uh, Kenwood. Kenwood is where all the rich uh, trust fund baby boomers inherited all the money from the World War II generation, uh, World War II generation parents that built it up. <coughs> Betsy, you, among all others, uh, above all others, should know just what hypocrites you people are. Here, I have no problem uh, saying what is highly controversial or would be considered highly controversial to uh, minorities and women. You know why? Because it will work. Because it's the truth they need to hear. Because I actually do give a little bit of a shit. You don't. You don't have the balls. You just want to be nice. All right? And you'll lie to these people about how the real world works so you get elected and live off of them and you don't improve their life. And may, you know what? And maybe Betsy's just smarter than me. Maybe she got hip to the jive on Operation Evil. I was going to say Resident Evil. <laughs> An Operation Evil performance. She's like, hey, if I tell people what they want to hear, they'll vote me mayor of Minneapolis. All right, yay! Uh... Underlying these requests are the flawed beliefs that aggressive patrolling of black communities provides wall protection on all white people and our property. Ah, not for long. <laughs> you know what provides a wall of protection for anybody's property? It's called stand your ground laws and then also um, castle doctrine. If I see someone trying to steal my car, I get to shoot them. But let me guess, that's not legal in Minneapolis or Minnesota, huh? Hmm. Police officers understand the dynamic well. We give them lethal tools and a lot of leeway to keep our parts of town safe. That leeway attracts people who want to misuse it. <clears throat> people historically, Minneapolis historically has some of the worst racial disparities in the country when I was major, despite changes like instituting body cameras. Body cameras are not going to close standards of living. Uh, investing in more training, that worked. Uh, policing outcomes for People of color never improved as much as I hope. Why? Oh, the outcomes. The disparities in arrest rates, use of force, for instance, remain glaringly high. Well, without fathers, there's no father figure to discipline the children. And those type of people, no matter what your race is, tend to commit more crime. <gasps> you ever have the balls to say that, Betsy? Ball is Betsy in more ways than one. <laughs> When, when do the citizens have a responsibility? Oh, I understand. Citizens have every right not to be killed by the cops. I get that. But when, when do the people have the responsibility? It's so, so arrogant how you leftists think your little social sciences can cure everything. When you haven't cured one damn thing yet, you haven't cured a fucking thing. Sure made a lot of money, though, I bet, claiming you could. It's like It's like the... You know, I don't know, the witch doctor or the <clears throat> the shaman in the Aztec cultures who could convince the king that if we sacrifice, uh, sacrificed enough virgins to the volcano god, the sun god would, would leave and the rain god would show you'd have crops. There is no correlation. You guys have not done anything. But here you are. Oh, if we get body cams, that will close standards of living and income gaps. Uh, how about the major in engineering and not fuck up? Just, that's the Clary plan here. I know it's too scientific methody and it might work. <sighs> when instead of greatly increasing police presence and needlessly arresting people for blocking the street or for having tents on public property, I decided to let the protests in Cayman continue while we negotiated with protesters towards a more peaceful conclusion. No spanking. All right. Uh, step it uh, being taken over. Third precinct station. The third precinct station taken over. Guarded building. Found frustrated. They've got fires in the street. They're smoking weed. We could smell it in here. They spray painted the precinct. Acts that they would have arrested people in normal circumstances. There are complaints like this at every shift change I attended. Shepherd inside by a security vehicle. Before long, I knew that if I didn't explain to the officers what exactly I was asking of them, 
we'd have little hope of safely and effectively saving the city from widespread unrest. Look, I told him, you know what will happen if I let you go out there and just arrest people. There will be riots. Oh, because it wasn't riots now. Yeah, you don't, you don't, I'm just, I, I'm, I don't care to read anymore what Betsy Hodges says. Are there any comments? <clears throat> uh, Jennifer Durkin. Well, it's, it's all ripping her apart. What the community needs to do here, Mike Berger 22. Here, Mike cares more about black people and other people as well. This is advice that's not, oh, well, one plus one equals two for white people. But for blacks, one plus one equals six. Shh, that's how you've been kept. <laughs> what the community needs to do, finish high school, get a trade, and keep a job. Don't get pregnant before marriage. Get dads back in the family. Boom. Boom. In my lifetime, no poly has ever studied. Da, 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 da. I, I don't care. I just don't care. I don't care what people say. Um, I've made not my position, but the truth on st I, it generally standards of living. In, not life expectancy. I'm not a doctor, but I've studied economics enough look through terabytes of data. And what helps above all else is not having being well researched, knowing your correlations, or running studies, and taking a look at history and economic history and timeline charts. It's that and having the balls to say what is common sense that humans over two million years have figured out. Don't fuck up. Don't commit crime. Now, more recently, because uh, we didn't have gender studies, didn't know if you knew that two hundred years ago, you didn't have gender studies. Don't major in stupid shit. Don't get pregnant or get a girl pregnant until you're married and do every, I think uh, above all, do everything within your power to improve your situation in life and not rely on anyone else, government, parents, anyone else, because it, it, that's out of your control, right? Hopefully they do help you out. Hopefully you get, I don't know, subsidy for a degree in auto mechanics over at Dunwoody or something like that. Hopefully your parents help you out. Hopefully you can't rely on that. Unfortunately, a lot of, of poor guys and gals within the black community uh, <clears throat> have come to me. Well, not a lot of two stories where they use their uh, parents, use their social security number to open up credit cards in their children's name because the children weren't old enough, but they had a social security number and parents said, I mean, I don't see how that's, that, that's out of your control. You have bad parents. Okay. You gotta, you gotta leave. But how much you want to bet 50 years from now, no one's going to heed that advice. What few people do would be tuned into this channel, and, and they will have success. But how much you want to bet as a whole, no one's going to listen to that advice, and we're still going to have people that are poor. And whether you're in Casper, Wyoming, and a teenage pregnant mom, and you don't know who the dad is, or you could be over on the north side of Minneapolis, or you could be on the barrio on Lake – no, Franklin, sorry, Franklin. I wonder, and you all have master's degree in social justice with $150,000 in student loans because you listen to your teachers, none of whom, by the way, are financial successes or millionaires. I wonder if 50 years from now, right, when, well, I'll be dead by that time, long time, <clears throat> if that will actually be implemented and infected, or if we're just going to try another 50 years of the same old Democrat socialist bullshit. All right, so so I I'm not even gonna look up um, Betsy Hodges. Uh, she is a complete waste of time of all of our times. I I guess. Hey guys, rich white girl from the suburbs who never worked a real job in her life uh, wrote an article slamming on liberal white people a little bit, but not having the balls because it's ball is Betsy. To you know, di wow, shock. Rich white girl takes easy way out. Where have we seen that before? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're still going to Minneapolis, guys. There's no reason. Time lapse, two bucks with a great place outside of Tucson. Disney World open, but my barber is still closed. Well, there you go. 
Miguel Angel Casillas, because we hate minorities here, for five bucks. I'm no doctor or financial genius, but I'm worried about going blind after the testes get chopped off. And let's also never forget K11 Whitey. <laughs> Thank you for pointing out every time I tell men to get a vasectomy, like, oh, I don't want my balls chopped off. I'm like, oh, maybe you ought to Google what it is first. That'd be like women saying, you know, you go up to the galley, like, hey, I want you to get a tit job. Why do you want me to cut off my tits? It's like, <sighs> you should take the car in for an oil change. Why would we take it to the dump? It's still got some good life. I know. I said, get an oil change. No, we'll, we can't take it to the trash compactor. We won't. Get it. It's an oil change. We're not destroying the car. Is that all we got? Edit. <clears throat> That's it. There we go. Okay. Questions, answers. Assholeconsulting.com. Oh, and by the way, just uh, two books here. One, because July is worthless degree. I know July is don't become a millennial month. Okay. So if you want to be more successful than the millennials, meaning you have your own place, you can afford a mortgage, you don't have student loan debts, and you're not begging for the taxpayer to bail you out, then you might want to read this book. Because I guarantee you, Gen Z, the same people like Betsy Hodges are telling you the same lies that resulted in that shit. Oh, and because, I, of course, you know I'm going to be accused of racism. Here, why don't you read this book first by me? That's my buddy Marcus there. Why don't you read this before you start yelling at me? I'm like, oh, my God, here, really? Really? What have you done for black people? Have you wrote a book for them? Did you? Oh, did you just say the same old shit and then like hope, hope things change? You know, I also hope uh, hope to help out the black community. His name was Barack Obama. I didn't see. I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked. All right, whatever. Everyone, go have kids that you can't afford. Fuck up and major in stupid shit, but make sure to go to a really expensive privil uh, uh, private uh, college. That's $200,000 total. And make sure to follow your heart and the money will follow. And if you're failure, it's blame Whitey. All right. See you guys later. Toodles.